minutes, I need to give some impartation about what we've come to pray over tonight and how I feel the Spirit of the Lord. It's already here. It, it came with the first notes that they sang. But I, I want to say something to the house tonight and to those of you online, and many of you, I, I think, are, are watching online. But the Lord has, has shown me something, and, and I, I just need to say what I know, and I'm asking the Lord to not let me try to say anything more than I know. But... Um, and I, and I know more is coming in the next couple of weeks, not necessarily this Sunday, but the following two Sundays. I know in my spirit God has a word for me to bring to this house um, that it, it, it got delayed for various reasons, and it was right that it got delayed, And but there is a word, and, and this is a little bit of not of it, but it's it's the same spirit. And I told you Sunday that there were things that weren't going to change. And, and one of them that I said was that when we begin to, one of the things that hasn't changed is the need for prayer and the need for praise. Because the scripture says, I think it's Psalm 81, that or maybe 82, that says in the Passion Translation that when we praise, that it causes the devil's mouth to, to be shut up, hey. that we can tell the devil to shut up through our praise. And I don't know about you, but I think the devil needs to be told to shut up. So, amen, come on, thank you for staying with me. So I read Sunday that at midnight, Paul and Silas, Acts 16, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns, and the prisoners were listening. So they were doing two things. They were praying and they were praising. Suddenly, that's important too, Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open and everyone's chains were loosed. I believe the call of the church is to see in the city of Louisville, everybody's chains get loosed. That's good. I believe that with That's all my good. heart. I've always believed that. Amen. And I've gotten off of it a little bit, but I'm coming back. So at 4 o'clock this morning, the Lord woke me up, and, and I knew it wasn't one of those just, hey, you know, you wake up for a few minutes and you go back to sleep. And I got up, and I went in my office, and I had forgotten, or I hadn't read it in a while, why were they in prison? And if you go back and you read the rest of Acts 16, there's a very specific reason why they were thrown into prison. And it has to do with spiritual warfare. And it has to do with even our city and even your house and my house. And it says that when they went out to prayer, if you go back to verse 16, that a certain slave girl possessed a spirit. She was possessed with a spirit of divination met them and brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. And this girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the most high God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. She was mocking them. And this she did for many days. And Paul was greatly annoyed. At 4 o'clock this morning, I realized Steve is greatly annoyed. I don't know if anybody else is, but I am greatly annoyed. Not a little annoyed. Now, when I get done preaching, I'm going to be nice, Steve, and, you know, we'll go hang out and get, you know, get a little coffee and all that. But right now, I, I, I get it. And he turned and said to the Spirit. He didn't say to the girl. And here's what I've come to tell us that we have to pray about. Come on. There is, listen to me, you all have trusted me for 22 come years on, to on. be your pastor. And every time I felt truth, I told you, and I'm telling you, that while COVID-19 is real, and it is a disease, and it is a virus, I want to tell you that it came out of the pit of hell, and anything that comes out of hell has a spirit attached to it. 
and we've been dealing with the symptom and not getting to the Come spirit. Come on. Come on. And I am greatly annoyed about that. That's it, Pastor. I need to calm down. So, he said, I command you in the name of Jesus to come out of her. And it came out. He came out that very hour. But the master saw their hope of profit was gone. They seized Paul. They didn't like the money. Always follow the money. They didn't like that it was gone, and they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them to the marketplace. And they brought them to the magistrates, and they said, These men being Jews, being Jews, we're Romans, they're Jews, they are troubling our city. Well, that was a lie. They weren't troubling the city. The Spirit was troubling the city. And they dealt with it, and they were about to bring peace to it. Anybody seeing any relationship? And the multitude rose up against them and they tore off their clothes and commanded them to be beaten and they laid many stripes and they put them in the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. That's how they got to the midnight hour where they said, our answer is to pray and sing. Yeah, yeah. That's how they got there. Because they dealt with a spirit. Yeah. I was on the phone for over an hour with, I don't mind, she wouldn't mind me telling you, with Dr. Cheryl Walker yesterday. And, and we talked about a lot of things, but uh, she said, now, Pastor, I'm about to speak prophetically to you. She said, you're to have a voice to the nations and to the city. She said, tell your people, don't quit preaching this, is what she told me. Watch God explode. God is going to explode in the midst of Trinity like never before. I hope you're getting this if you're online. She said, we always tell the people that God said, I am who I am, and I don't even have to change, and I don't have any needs. I don't even have to look at a budget to do what I'm going to do at Trinity. She said, keep preaching that we overcome evil with good, and he'll take care of the rest. Just keep doing good. Just keep doing good. The Lord, the Lord told me to talk to the church like we're believers. I don't want to dumb this thing down. I either got to be strong with you or I just need to go home and, and sit on my new couch, my new chair I got today, and, and leave it alone. I got to be strong. It's good, Pastor. I didn't realize this. The Lord has been telling me, and I'm going to say this, not this week, but in the two weeks after it, that we have to have a prophetic voice. You have to have a prophetic voice to your house. And, I ha- and we have to have a prophetic voice to this house. We have to have a prophetic voice to the city. And we have to pray prophetically. And I'll be honest, we got to sing prophetically. Yeah. And we got to just let God have his way with us. And all of it. And because we're in an hour, we're in last days, we're in, we're in times that everybody calls unprecedented. That's not some word, I mean, that's nothing new. And so we got to speak something because nothing can make it till somebody speaks. However, I went back and I said, all right, I'm not sure I know what the spirit of divination is. I thought I did. I kind of like, I knew it's ooey. I knew it's eerie. Ew, I don't like that. She had a spirit. I knew it was bad. So I went to our dear friends at Wikipedia. 
divination. This is the world talking. This isn't, this isn't even like the theology book. You want to know what divination is? It is to foresee or foretell, to predict or to prophesy by inspiration of a God, little g. The world wants to say some stuff to us by the spirit of divination that is not correct. It goes on to say it is the attempt to gain insight into a question or a, you're trying to gain insight into a question or situation by way of an occultic, demonic, standardized process. We better get back to the book. Yeah, yeah, say that. If I got any inspiration, it better come out of here. See, the spirit behind COVID wants you to fear. Be afraid. Be afraid. I'm not saying, we, please don't misunderstand. I'm, under, I, I'm realizing in the last week or two, when I say something, I, I got to even clarify it a little more. We use caution. We do the right things. Look, look, we're sitting all apart. We're doing all of that, but not out of fear. Right? That's the spirit. That's the occultic spirit that says it's bad. It might kill you. It might kill you. And you hear it and you hear it and you hear it. And then it gets in you and you're like, oh, it got hold of me. That's, that's divination. Telling you you're not going to make it. Telling you your job. Well, you lost your job. You don't know. I don't, you know, all this. I'm telling you, fear is part of it. Stealing from God's people is part of it. Hurting people's economic status is part of it. The race issue is part of it. The enemy is a liar. He's a liar. The Lord specifically told me, I, this, is, this is weird, the last 24 hours for me. He said, wear your kingdom shirt. Why? Because we're kingdom people tonight. We're talking and praying as kingdom people tonight. And then the song, I didn't even know the song, said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. So here's my challenge, and I, there's a lot more that I need to say to you, but I'm telling you, the world's got a voice out there that is occultic. And, and it has attached itself behind a virus that I believe, you know, cancer's real. Leukemia is real. You know what? We've been healed from all of those. COVID's real. We've been healed from it too. Amen. And we pray just like we pray about anything else over all of that. No sickness. Psalm 91. Pastor Ken's at a funeral uh, for a friend, not COVID related, but a, a family uh, member. And, but remember when he and I talked about Psalm 91? Thousand will fall at one side and 10,000 at another. Yeah. That word's still true. But, but that divination one say, ah, that doesn't, that doesn't apply to you. Yes, it, I, I'm telling you, not, no, not in my house. Don't let it in like you don't let anything else in. And it's trying. It's trying. And we're believers first. We're kingdom people. Man, I'm telling you, the Spirit of the Lord has to cover us. Let me, let me just, I'm five, four minutes over what I wanted to be. That same spirit wants to keep people out of church. A third of the people, they said, that were coming have admitted that they've not been to church nor watched church online since COVID started. A third. Right? We, we got to tell you, that's a spirit. That's divination. No, you don't need it. You don't need it. See, that spirit is going to try to tell people when we can gather back that it's just as good to watch online. Come on. And I get it Why, right now. I understand. I'm not, please don't misunderstand. Don't, don't make me explain it every which way but Sunday. It, but the day is going to come. We can gather. But that spirit of divination... It's going to tell you, well, you did pretty good with your family in your living room. Until he comes to take your kids. Mm. 
and he comes to wreck your finances. He comes to wreck your health. We got to wake up, church. Does that make sense? It's the Spirit. Paul didn't speak to the girl. We don't need to speak to the people. People aren't your problem. People aren't your enemy. Come on. It's the spirit behind it. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Hey. That's still true. But against principalities yeah. and powers and wickedness in high places. We got to pull that stuff down. And we thought we had a handle on it. And now we found out the little sneaky snake got back in there and said, wait a minute, I'll get in another way. If I can't come in the front door, I'll come in the window. I'll come in the back door. I'll come in the side door. I'll, I'll sneak in while the garage is open. Yeah. The body of Christ needs to be greatly annoyed. These aren't the end of the last days, I don't think, but we're getting dress rehearsals. We're seeing things. The church has persecution in the last days. So we're, we're, we're watching to see what happens. We're watching. Heavenly Father, help us tonight. Let's lift our hands again. You guys sing again and then we'll pray. Thank you, Lord God. Spirit of the Lord. We're going we're, we're gonna to take back what the enemy yes, stole. Jesus. We're going to speak to that spirit behind that virus. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Spirit of God. Spirit of the Lord. Spirit of the Lord. Fall for, feel free to walk around some if you want. Or, Whatever you want to do, kneel at your seat or whatever. But let the Lord touch you right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Great are you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. The more I seek you. Mm, Lord, that's it. We want to seek you, Lord. The more I find you. The more I find you, the more I love you, the more I seek you.
Father, we want to just feel your love. We just want to fall back into your love. Spirit of the living God. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray right now for the next 15 or 20 minutes. Let's just begin to pray. And let's begin to prophesy. Let's begin to speak prophetically that our God, that we know that we overcome evil with good. And Father, we've come tonight, Lord God, to lift up our voice. Come on, press in with me right now. Those of you online, come on. Take a few minutes away from everything else and come on, walk your living room and walk your hallways right now of your house. Let's begin to prophesy and let's begin to speak over these different areas right now because we are greatly annoyed that a voice has been trying to come to our nation and to our city that is not of God. And we're tired just like Paul was tired of hearing uh, people mock Jesus. We are tired of it. And tonight we come and we say tonight and we're speaking to that spirit that would try to keep people out of the out of church and would try to keep people from watching online and would try to hurt families and would try to tear up marriages and, and bring fear about a virus. We speak to that spirit tonight that is behind all of this that comes out of the pit of hell. We said that the devil's plan for you hasn't changed either. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So you know attached to that virus, he's going to try to steal, and he's going to try to kill, and he's going to try to destroy you. And we're taken back tonight. What rightfully belongs to us as kingdom citizens. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we come and Father, first of all, Father, we just lift ourselves up. Come on, pray over yourself right now. Pray out loud. Just say, Lord, I I just thank you, Lord, that all my sins are forgiven. And Lord, I thank you tonight that, Lord, I'm the head and not the tail and above and not beneath. And God, you're using me as an instrument of love and, and peace and harmony, God. Lord, I thank you, God, for what you're doing in my own life right now. And we begin to prophesy over our own lives. And the areas, here's what I'm telling you, the areas of your life that have been dead are going to come back to life. If your prayer life has been dead, it's going to come back. If your if you're marriage, if your family, if there's things, your job, your finances, whatever it is in your personal life, whatever it is, speak to that tonight. Don't believe the voice that in the spirit of divination that would say, you're just like the widow woman, we're going to eat it and we're going to die. No, that's not true. That is not true. And and we have to be a church that boldly proclaims that. We have to say it, first of all, over ourselves. And if you've been fearful about a job or you've been fearful about a, a work situation, I want to tell you, tonight peace is coming on your life. And I'm just telling you, you need to believe the word more than you believe the world. You got to. We don't have another hope. We don't don't have another answer. I don't have another plan B if the word doesn't work. I don't. I, I don't. Because I know it does. So, Father, we come and, Lord, we pray. Begin to lift up your family right now. Come on, pray over your family. Pray over your family right now. Lift them up. Call them by name right now. Let's take a couple of minutes and let's just pray over our families right now. Spirit of the Lord. Spirit of the Lord. Oh, Father, we pray over our families. Lord, we lift up our families right now. And that spirit that would try to come on our teenagers, that's telling them, oh, you know, you don't have to go back to church. You don't, you know, you've been fine these last three or four months. It's okay. No, we break that. And I declare there's a hunger in our teenagers for the things of God. I thank you, Lord God, in our families and our children. 
Lord, I thank you, Father. No sickness, no disease can come on any of our family in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for any lost family members because really that's what we've been saying is the reality is that we got to pray for our family members that are lost. And Father, we call them back in tonight in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the living God. Bless the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. You see, the rest of that story in Acts 16 is that everybody got free, but they ended up at the jailer's house. And then the jailer's family got saved that night. So God can take what looks like a bad situation and everybody ends up getting free and everybody ends up getting saved. Now you can't get that in the world, but through our God, we shall do valiantly. Our God will make a way where there doesn't seem to be a way. And you're at your midnight hour. Somebody needs to hear this. I don't know who it is. Maybe you're watching, maybe you're online. And you're at your midnight hour and you need to hear, how can it ever turn around? They didn't know that it was all going to turn around like that. They just knew it was right to pray and praise. That's what they knew. And they did it. And things began to shake. And I prophesy that as we as the church begin to pray and we begin to praise greater than we ever have, and I'm talking to myself, that things are going to begin to shake that need to be shaken. Hebrew says, so that that which cannot, he's going to shake everything that can be shaken, so that which cannot be shaken will remain. But you don't know that at the midnight hour. When you're, the bones are still dead when you start talking to them. Your family doesn't look like they've changed when you first start out. But in that midnight hour, in that moment, in that suddenly moment, in that suddenly moment, God turns a church around and he turns a heart back to him. And he, he's somebody that you never thought could get saved gets turned over to the Lord. Somebody that you thought, God, how's that ever? God restores yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Spirit of God. Miss Joan, come up here. Just just pray. Just start praying. Come on, lift your hands all across this place. This, the atmosphere is changing. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless his name tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless him tonight. We bless him tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We bless his name tonight. Hallelujah. He is the only one. Hallelujah. That can turn this situation around. We come after the neck. Of the COVID-19 God. We come after the neck of it. We cut it off in the name of Jesus. By the spirit of the living God, we cut the neck of COVID-19 off. In the spirit, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for the work that you've already doing. For the work you're yet doing, Lord God. We thank you, God, that you are stirring us from glory to glory. We thank you, Lord God, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, God. We thank you, Lord God, for you are the spirit.
spirit that draws us. Now draw your children back to yourself, oh God. Turn your turn the people around, God. Yeah. And that they would know that they have a need for the Almighty God. And that nothing can satisfy them. Yeah. Nothing can satisfy but the spirit of the living God. We bless your holy name, God. And we walk in expectation, God. We walk in expectation, God. We're looking for the saved. We're looking for those that need to be delivered, Lord God. We're looking for unity in the city, God. We're looking, Lord God, with expectation, God. Because your word promised it, Lord God. You said we have not because we ask not. So we're asking tonight, God. Come on. We're asking tonight, God. With your children, would you do it, God? Would you do it, God? Would you release your spirit on us in the days of old, God? In the days of old, when the people praised you, when they worshiped you, the spirit of the Lord fell upon them. Let your Shekinah glory fall, God. Let your Shekinah glory fall. God, hallelujah, we pray for our pastor, Lord God. We pray for our leader tonight, God. That you, Lord God, will hold him up, God. Hallelujah. And whenever Lord. the enemy will come after him, yeah. you would raise up a standard against them. Hallelujah. Yeah. We thank you now, God. We thank you now, God, that he would use his strong prophetic voice that yeah. you have given him. And that he will speak oh. what you tell him to speak, God. Yeah. No more, no yeah. less, God. Father God, that he that open the doors for him for the nations, God. Yeah. Lord, that you will open the doors for him for the nations. We thank you, Lord God, that it is done already, God. It is done already. He has such a heart for your people, oh God. So we ask you, God, to add to him, God. We ask you to add to him, God. Add to him, Lord God. Add to him, God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Nobody else can do what we're asking but you. So spirit of the living God, move in this house. Stir us like never before. Stir us like never before. We're coming because we're thirsty and we're hungry and we desire to sit at your feet. Oh, Spirit of the living God, please have your way, God. Have your way, God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, God. Jesus. Oh, yes, Rabba Jesus. Shata, Raka Shata. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Things are changing. Things are changing. Things are changing. Things are changing. Yes, Jesus.